Hi there, thank you very much for joining me um, to talk about growing fangs. And so I just wanted to kind of jump in first off and just sort of say, um, kind of, if you could kind of give us a brief idea of kind of um, what Launchpad is kind of all about, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Launchpad, uh, this was their first inaugural year. Um, and basically the idea behind it was to find six filmmakers uh, from underrepresented backgrounds to tell a unique story from their own perspective on the platform. And it was an incredible opportunity to really get to express your voice. And, and for a lot of us, it was a voice that we hadn't, a perspective we hadn't seen on screen or we didn't see growing up of representation. So it almost in a way felt like we were connecting to our own child and what we needed to see when we were younger by telling these stories on screen. Cool, and kind of could you give us a brief outlay of what Growing Fang is all about for anyone that hasn't seen it yet? Yes, yes. So Growing Fangs is a story about a 15-year-old girl named Val, who is half human and half vampire. And she struggles to fit in either world and feel like she's enough in either world. Um, and for me, I, I related to that because I myself am Mexican-American and bisexual and always felt in between these identities and not fully enough and had to learn that, you know, just because you are a part of multiple identities, it doesn't make you any less or a fraction of them, it all compounds and makes you exactly who you are. So that's kind of what I wanted to explore with Val as she's sort of discovering this new world and going to a monster high school and, and having to hide her human side and what that means for her. That's cool. And um, kind of going off of this, so what was the process of kind of going through the launch pad pro kind of to make this whole thing go through? Yeah, yeah. So, um, we started off by first developing the script. We worked with mentors who were um, all different parts of um, creative execs across the company. My two mentors were a part of Disney Animation. I loved them. They were so fantastic. And they really helped build the script and, and get it to a point and help me get it to a point of, of what was important in the story. Um, and then we went into um, production eventually, of course, with COVID, yeah. all of it was pushed a bit. Um, but when we finally did, we did it in a very safe way and um, felt very supported by Disney. Um, and then, of course, the po post process was, was one of my favorite because I got to work with Beth and Shivani with uh, visual effects and really bring all the magic to life. And that was such an incredible process. Yeah, because there's kind of quite a bit of um, special effects in here. Um, and I kind of wanted to sort of jump into that kind of thing. Was everybody involved in the process and sort of making the show, were they kind of all like in the early stages and trying out stuff that they wouldn't normally get to try out normally? Oh, absolutely. Um, this, this whole story was a learning experience for me. I hadn't fully dived into visual effects on this level. And, you know, getting partnered with, with Beth and Giovanni and ILM was so supportive and incredible. And I learned so much and they were so willing to, you know, sit with me and take me through the process and teach me so many things through it that it, it really became this like masterclass on visual effects that, that I'll always take with me. Yeah. And kind of, because I, I would be honest, like watching through like um, Growing Fangs, it was kind of the one that sort of jumped out at me. I was there thinking, this could kind of be, you know, expand into like a, a possible series, which is that something like you'd like to see um, kind of maybe them do. Oh, there's so many stories that could be could be told in this world and and explored and and so much more in the school to be discovered. Um, even with with visual effects, when we sat down of having these little magical moments, I think it excited us for <laughs> the other things that could happen with the school and and the classes, the high school classes with magic would be incredible to <laughs> to dive into. Yeah, and kind of like with the like, in terms of like the special effects and stuff. Um, does did it kind of did you have a, like a pretty tight budget or was it uh, did you kind of were able to kind of do what you wanted? Well, uh, I you know, <laughs> I I definitely think that you know the budgets were definitely tight, but at the same time, um, it forced us all to be very creative in the whole process and. Um, when you were mentioning, you know, bringing magic to this story and bringing special effects, there was times where we were sitting down and talking about a shot that maybe Anne-Marie had planned previously. And then one of our artists, our Beth, was like, well, you know, if this sanitizer is supposed to be sparkly, 
technically the actual sanitizing machine also needs to have some kind of special, you know, sparkles in it. And so it was really just this collaborative process between us at ILM and our artists and Beth as our supervisor and then Anne Marie with her vision of the school, bringing those two ideas together and really making sure that the magic elements were supplementing the story to make it even better. Um, and just adding, adding to all the excitement of sharing Val's, you know, two different sides of her, which ultimately, you know, make her her and ultimately she accepts both sides. Yeah. I was going to ask, did um, they have to kind of use Val like for like, some wire work to kind of get her flying in the air or was that kind of special effects? Yeah. <laughs> For for all of her limitation scenes, we yeah. we um, we put her on on wires and then had to paint it out. And um, there was also a moment where she levitates in the in the um, breakfast scene, and that was actually two guys in green suits with a with a sort of seesaw rig picking her up and putting her back down. That they all had to be painted out. Um, so it was really we we got pretty clever of how to <laughs> pull some of these things off. And sort of to kind of uh, sort of wrap up, really kind of, how excited are you about the idea now that these all oh, these uh, shorts are actually now coming to Disney Plus for everybody? I think it's huge. I think it, it's it's a huge message of sh of showing how much representation matters. And even for me, making this short, it was a very healing process of things I needed to see when I was younger to know that my stories were were worthwhile and worth getting told. And I think collectively, all six of us all have such something so different to say, yet so universally the same. And I think it really is going to touch people and, and speak to a personal place to them. Yeah, well, I just want to say thank you very much for taking your time out to talk about um, Growing Fangs. It was definitely, I'll be honest, it was my favourite out of the six that I saw. And that was, I was like, um, it was a lot of fun, lots of excitement about it. And I'm hoping everyone um, sort of checks out all of these shorts. But again, thank you very much for taking your time to um, speak to us today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. Also, a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and also on our YouTube channel memberships. And I'll just see you guys in another video. Laters.